the garden. Okay, so um, what we're going to do today is one of the things that I love doing is I love painting on wood. First one is some um, wooden tags. Okay, these tags are handmade by my husband. There are two different sizes. There's a seven inch, or no, this is an eight and a half inch. And then the other one is a seven inch, I think, okay? I like to use the longer ones here, so we are gonna have some fun, first of all, today. And we're gonna paint on this tag. You can use both sides of the tag. You can switch them around, depending on what, you know, what um, holiday it is. I love hanging these from maybe like my pantry doorknobs or um, my kitchen cabinet doorknobs or, or even like if you have a coat rack, you can hang these from your coat rack. You can use cute little ribbon. The hole comes with it so you can put the, the ribbon through it and you can have a cute little um, ribbon. I have all different kinds of ribbon we're going to try to get that for today with the ribbon as well but the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to paint and i hope you enjoy painting because we're going to have a fun time today jen is in the den <laughs> yes i am christy hey all right so here's what we're going to do first all right i i already started because i wanted to have a little bit of you know enough time to do everything so i already started by painting over this with um a white acrylic paint. That's all it is, is white acrylic paint. Okay, I am going to make a little carrot today. I'm going to paint a little carrot today. So what I'm going to use is um, cadmium orange. You can use any color orange that you have in stock. Most people may not have orange unless you have some leftover from fall time because fall time you usually use a lot of orange. You could use a craft paint. You don't have to use the um two paints like i'm using here we're gonna go with some greens i had to pull my my um my colors any color green y'all it does not have to be the green that i'm using a little carrot so what do you need to be able to do this well first of all i'm using a little tag that's homemade my husband uses them uh, make some for me, but you don't have to use this. You could use anything you want. You could use, um, I have some, I don't have any with me, but you can use like a six by 12 canvas or, you know, anything tiny like that. Because this is long and skinny, I decided to make a, um, something that's actually long and skinny that fits well on this type of surface to um i'm gonna kind of draw out where i want the carrot to be i don't want it to go straight up and down i'm gonna let it have a little bit of a uh i can't use this so let me use let me use just a paintbrush okay i dipped my paintbrush in the water i'm gonna use just a little bit of orange here and I dipped it in the black as well so it's going to be kind of dark all right and I'm just going you don't need a template for this because it's super easy I'm just going to kind of make the shape of a carrot right here and um, what I love about painting is I'm still just kind of making my my just my kind of my my um my plan for my carrot here we're just going to do this free um the reason why i love it so much is because it it's so unique to everyone you can um we can all be looking at the same tutorial and all of our pieces will come out all completely different because we can add our own it's kind of like handwriting like if you go to write something in a note 
everybody's note is going to be different because each of us has a unique handwriting that is specific to us. Well, painting is very similar to the same thing. It allows you to show your, um, you know, your creativity in the project as you're working on it. And that's one of the things that I love about painting because I have a I have a membership. And what I'm doing right now, by the way, is I'm starting to work with my oranges. I'm taking a little bit of white with a filbert brush here and. I'm taking a little bit of yellow and I'm making a pretty orange color for me. And I'm just kind of mixing all of my colors together and I'm filling up my paintbrush. All right. So I have a membership group where we paint together um, weekly. And every single person in the group, when they post their work, um, you start learning their styles and you start seeing everybody's painting is going to be different. And that is my favorite part about the group is that you start learning all of those people's, um, you know, like their style. Their style just comes out. But the more you do it, the more you get, you know, you get your style. So I think it's super fun. One of the main reasons I started painting is because... Um, I suffer with anxiety and depression and it is it is very very relaxing to um take some time and it, it it helps work okay so this is what i'm doing i'm just i'm following the same pattern as a carrot would have with the strokes so i'm not going up and down with my strokes I'm going to um, try to create, you know, how a carrot kind of has that, you know, it's it, to make it look like it's round. I'm going to take my paint strokes and my paintbrush and I'm going to make sure that I follow that same pattern. And I'm going to go from the right to the left with a little almost like a little smiley face the whole way across. OK. And what's going to start adding that dimension and it's going to start looking a little bit more like a real carrot is the fact that I'm going to start using um, different shades of orange. And I'm looking for a little bit of burnt umber right now because I want to add a little bit of a darker color to my orange. And you know how you can get you can make a burnt orange with. brown and orange okay so you don't have to have a burnt orange and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start making some little half smiley faces from the left and something else I want to tell you too is I'm a very impressionistic artist my artwork is not perfect at all. Nobody wants to be perfect in their artwork. At least I don't. So I'm going to show you how to keep your artwork messy. Even without trying to be messy. So what I'm using right now is a little bit of a reddish orange color. I hear my puppy dog over here crying all of a sudden. It's like she knows I'm live and I'm using just a little bit more of a darker color and if you've ever painted before or if you want to start painting know that there is no right or wrong about it okay you just you just start doing it don't be afraid just start doing it and you will be so surprised at what you can do. Okay, so I'm going to make it come out just a little bit more because I don't like those little lines there. Can y'all see me okay? Let me see. I'm going to come down so y'all can see better. Look how cute he is already. It looks like it's blurry. Okay, 
There we go. So I'm going to just pull. This is so relaxing. I love doing this. So I'm going to make a cute little carrot. And I'm going to check your comments in just a second. Okay, I'm using a filbert brush because I like the end of the brush, which kind of has like a little rounded edge on it. So you see how I'm kind of making like some little humps right there. I'm pulling into the center of the carrot and I'm kind of making it fat, which I kind of like. So let me see if I can make this a little more pointed at the end. Okay, and you see how I added all of those different colors? It makes it have dimension. It makes it look like it's fat and it has like some layers to it. Okay, so that's the, that's the trick. That is the trick. You have to add layers. And the great thing about um, acrylics is it dries really fast. So you can go in and add those layers really fast. All right, so that is step one. Now we're going to go to our leaves here. Do you keep painting wet on wet? I do. I like to paint wet on wet, but what's great, um, Carol, about um, the acrylic paints, they dry really fast. So you can you can kind of give yourself a little grace and, and allow, you know, allow it to dry a little bit or have like a, 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 um, a, a blow dryer. And if you if you're impatient, then just hurry up and put the blow dryer on it and in like 30 seconds. It'll be dry. OK, so now I'm still using the same paintbrush, which I'm a free paint artist. No, I'm not a free paint artist. I'm a free paintbrush artist. <laughs> I can I can use just about any paintbrush and still be able to get most of the same um, occurrences as I would if I used a different paintbrush. So I'm still going to use the same paintbrush. And I'm going to pull. Just push down and pull to make these little leaves. I added just a little bit of white to my paint because it was a little bit too dark for me. And now I'm adding a little bit more of the lime green. And I'm just going to pull down and pull down and get a few different shades going on here. See how now I have like two different colors on my paintbrush. One side is the dark green and the other side is the light green. And so it's kind of adding a couple of different um, colors and so that's also what's giving it some dimension look how cute he is this is my first time painting a carrot so i think it's coming out pretty good so far all right maybe a couple more right there and then let's go with some highlights i'm gonna add some some white i didn't even clean my paintbrush off I'm just going to add some white in here. And I need to look at my time. 9.49. All righty. And so. There we go. Look how cute he is. Okay. Um, let's see. Because I'm using orange and green, I think, of course, this ribbon will not do very well. It's like a, you know, that, okay, so that's out. So what about maybe we could do, ooh, look how cute that would be. The black and white ribbon, of course, you know, that's always a winner. 
or the black. Oh, I like that one better. I'm going to go with it. So I'm going to take a piece of ribbon and I'm going to, I'm not good at this part, y'all, but I'm going to try because I'm, I'm usually just with the paintbrushes, not a lot of the extra supplies. But let's see how we're going to do. I'm going to try to stick this ribbon. I basically um, folded it in half where I want. Let's go a little bit more. And I'm going to fold it in half at the end and then I'm going to fold it in half again. And I'm going to, if my hole is big enough. Okay. All right. So I folded it in half because once I go through, I'm going to open that up. And then I'm going to cut it. Let's cut this side about right here. I'm going to put it through. So I'm going to open this loop and I'm going to put it through like that. And it just makes a much nicer and cleaner presentation if you if you actually get it through like that. Look how cute that is. So it kind of gives you a little, it almost looks like a tie. And then on the ends, I'm going to fold these two over and I'm going to cut at an angle to get that little cute little ribbon look on the end. And then I'm going to hold these two together. And I'm going to tie a knot. I probably went a little bit too short. If you want to put it over a doorknob, you might want to go a little longer. And then there you go. You have a little hook or a little hanger. And it's so cute. You can even do this. I love doing things like this. Once I decide on what my ribbon is going to be, this is just adorable. I'm going to take the sides and I'm going to decorate the sides a little bit. Since I went with a black and white ribbon, I'm going to take a little bit of black paint and I'm going to make some little stripes on the side. Actually, I'm just going to take the black paint because I've already painted the white. And you see that adds just a little bit more fun and kind of gives it a different vibe. And then if you're interested in these tags, I have them in my um, and you can make these reversible. So if you wanted to use this, you can even put this in your in your tear trays. You know, they're, they're super cute to put in your tear trays. If you wanted to make this as a reversible, then just turn it over and you could paint something. Maybe you could do, um, I don't know, something for Christmas or Mardi Gras or anything like that on the back side. And then you could have two different options for a cute little holiday decor. And I'm going to bring in my other project as well. And a lot of you like to use um, like the paint pens and the paint pens will do just fine. But since this one is probably close to being dry, I'm going to show you how I make my pieces have that that pop to them. That's like a rustic touch. So I take a palette knife and I put some black paint on the back of it. Very, very thin. And I wait until it's dry. And you see, I use heavy body paints for a reason. It has a little bit of a texture in it. And I'm going to take my palette knife and I'm going to hardly touch. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of that. It, what it's doing is it's basically highlighting the areas that are raised up a little bit. And then I go around the edges and it's it's giving some focus to those um, those spots on the wood that are a little raised. It's given some focus to, um, you know, so look how much that just like 
it brings it to a whole nother level when you do that. See that? Yes, it looks distressed. Exactly. I like to use black on it. Some people use gold. Some people use white. Some people use brown, but I usually use black. I like the look of the black, especially since I have the black ribbon. And it's it's just a totally, it just brings a totally different vibe. So you can put a little bit more black on here if you want to keep it nice and, you know, just as much as you want. And there you go. So, this, so thanks so much for being here. I'm so excited for all of you.